Hey, good morning everybody. It is uh, one day, one, two days before the typhoon hits. So this vlog is going to be a documentation of me preparing and going through typhoon Hagibis. Sounds like haggis, but there's a B in it. That's how I'm trying to remember it. So today uh, I have to go and do a podcast with uh, an Australian uh, podcast group. But before the podcast, I'm going to go and get some last minute emergency food. And also I'm going to try and clear the balcony because I've got to get everything inside before the typhoon hits. Right now it is Friday morning uh, and the typhoon is supposed to hit, I think, Saturday night. I think that's like the main peak of it through to Sunday morning. This is what we got this morning. Going to be taking all of this inside. I'm also going to be taking up the floor just to be safe. Washing machine I can't take inside, so I just got to leave it out and hope that it doesn't blow away. There is no wind right now. It is completely dead. Hey, so I just got back from the store. Um, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I thought that a lot of things were going to be missing, but it was only very specific things that were gone. There was no bread. I mean, I managed to get a little bit of bread, but there was mainly no bread, uh, no big bottles of water. They're all gone and, and big bottles of green tea or a few left. No tape, <laughs> except for craft tape. But surprisingly, there were a lot of other things there, a lot of vegetables, a lot of meat and um, everything else basically was still there. So got a bunch of things. Again, I've already stocked up. So this is just some extra little bits that I've decided to get. So I've got bread, um, I've got two little bottles of water because that's all I could get, but we do have another two liter bottle of water. We're gonna fill up a jar with water and we're gonna fill up our kettle. So it should be okay. Simmon, some leeks. I got some uh, hash potato, potato gems or potato tarts. Chips, tansan, uh, mineral sparkling water. Cashew nuts. And I also got some flour because I want to make some brownies this weekend. So already I have um, some pies. Sorry, this is so messy. I have like two frozen pies, frozen vegetables, and a pack of gyoza. Then we have Leda's barbecue sauce. <laughs> Uh, we have some chicken, so that's two meals worth of chicken, and then another chicken there. Pack of oranges, apple, uh, yuzu nabe, which I think we're going to make this weekend. Some vegetables, got some eggs, got soy milk and milk for Eric, and got butter as well. Oh man, all my stuff's so messy, I'm so sorry. But we have uh, potatoes, some onions, potato chips, pineapple, just some various stuff. So I've got a few ideas for meals I'm going to make over the weekend. I don't even think about it, but I think the thing that's going to probably happen is the power is going to go out. Because, you know, all the power poles everywhere are probably going to fall over in the wind. And then our freezer is going to go off and I bought so much frozen food. Because I haven't been in a disaster before. I didn't use my brain. I guess we'll have to cook a lot of frozen food <laughs> when the power goes out. But I think we'll be able to do it. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start taking things in from outside and start making a pile of them. Okay, so I took everything out of the balcony. I think it's pretty good to go. Here's our little pile inside. All that stuff. Hopefully they'll be okay for a few days. Like it's totally fine. Okay, so I'm home. I went and did the podcast and I went and met Eric after school and now I just cooked some dinner having like a tandoori chicken vegetable rice thing. We're gonna watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Typhoon's not happening yet because it's gonna happen in like 24 hours, but we're all good to go. Not leaving the house tomorrow and the day after. Keeping it safe and yeah, having a good time. <laughs> I'm hoping that it's all just gonna be like a relaxing good time a cozy at home, but uh, we'll see Here's the food It's uh, I put some uh, lemon juice mixed with soy yogurt on the side, so I'm gonna have yeah Yeah Good morning, everybody. It is now Saturday morning. Sorry. I'm just in a singlet But I'm being casual at home cuz I'm gonna be at home for a long time Hopefully so the typhoon hasn't really picked up 
like a huge amount, but it's coming, you can tell. The rain is getting a lot heavier. So this morning I got up and closed everything and just got ready for it. And the rain's been kind of hitting in here a little bit, but the wind hasn't picked up too much as you can see by the trees. So we did have an announcement over the loudspeaker this morning that people who live near a, a river in our area uh, and feel uncomfortable need to evacuate. Uh, but luckily I think that we're okay and we're not on the bottom floor so I think we'll we'll be okay when it comes to flooding. The main worry is the the wind. Um, Chiba has been hit really bad this morning. Um, they had a tornado, which I've never even heard of happening in Japan. Uh, but they had a tornado. Unfortunately, they have been hit recently with a typhoon before this, uh, a couple of months ago, a month ago. Uh, and now they're having to deal with even more destruction. So they're really suffering today. The typhoon set to hit around 9 p.m. tonight. And yeah, it is kind of scary hearing the uh, announcement go off, kind of like echoes through the town. I'm going to be moving uh, my computer over there. I'm going to be moving that to uh, further into the house. Why are you outside? Oh man. Okay, I'm gonna cook now, so I'm gonna make a big thing of uh, yuzu nabe, so like a citrus nabe, and then we can have it um, to use even if it's cold. That smells so good. So I'm just gonna add veggies, chicken, and noodles, and it should be pretty good. And I'm also going to add some lotus root. Okay, so we've got the nabi cooking. I'm just going to leave it with the lid off a little bit and leave it to cook for a while. Soap's done. Emma. Soup's done. Soup. Yeah, the typhoon is just getting a bit stronger outside, but mainly the problem right now is flooding. Our neighboring Chome has been evacuated. Chome is like our little next door neighborhood uh, has been evacuated, which is a little stressful, but they are close to a river. And I think we're going to be okay because we're on the third floor and away from the river, so should be fine. So that's why I'm gonna make some brownies. I'm just mixing together eggs, sugar, oil, and vanilla. Combine the dry ingredients, got them here. Really should have sifted some stuff, I think, but it's okay. It's actually not that much brownie mix, but it's okay. Just make a little small typhoon brownie. My, uh, here's my typhoon brownies. I'm just gonna put them in the oven for a while and hang out. All right guys, the next step of what we're doing is I wanna get rid of all of the electronics that are next to the window and just put them on the other side of the bed. I just wanna be ready for anything. So got everything prepared here, got everything pushed to the side and there's a little table down here so we have most of the stuff sitting up a level so if any water gets on the ground from like either glass breaking or a leak that I haven't found out about yet, um, then it shouldn't get wet, so. Yeah, I'm stressed. I think I'm gonna play some Zelda to just calm my nerves. So I was just eating some of my typhoon brownies and uh, we had an earthquake, which is so unfair because looking at the map, the earthquake hit mostly Chiba and Chiba is suffering really bad in this uh, in this typhoon. It's like, come on, just one at a time. Things are still gradually increasing, but still nothing super dangerous. Um, winds are strong, but our windows aren't rattling or anything. We're just, just keeping on, keeping on. Also, we've already eaten most of the, uh, the typhoon brownies, but the middle bit is so good. Look at that, it's like super moist in that little bit. Really nice. Okay, so we're at full force now, I believe. It's not like constant wind, it's a lot of like very strong wind and then it backs off for a bit. There's been a few moments that have been pretty scary for me. Act's totally fine, but I, I'm a little freaked out. 
But yeah, I don't know. I'm just a scaredy cat. No, you're not. It's a new thing that you're experiencing. Oh, you can see the power line swinging. Seems more severe in mm. person, but when I see it on the camera, it's it not doesn't that bad. look that bad. Yeah. yeah. Oh, somebody's. Oh, some oh no. Nope. <laughs> Never mind. They're just maybe checking. They, they saw us and they're like, ah. Oh no, they're there. Oh, they're back. <laughs> they went to a different room. <laughs> and my this is my little cozy uh, safe room, and we taped the curtain shut as if that's gonna do anything. It's gonna do nothing, but it's just nice to have it there. Why why is why does it look like it's windy in the curtain? That means there's a a leak. Oh my god. Uh, uh. Maybe I should go chill in Eric's room. I might do that. We just got a uh, emergency alert. The Tokyo area is already equivalent to Bell Fun. All right, we're at the top desert, like top danger level. Take the best action to protect your life. There are areas that have been subject to special alerts. Please check TV, radio, and, and local government information. Okay. Okay. So, well, I'm just gonna come in here. Okay, so it's actually stopped. It's fully over. I can't even hear any rain. Uh, I thought it w that we were in the eye of the storm, but apparently, no, it's gone. The intensity was super intense for a very short amount of time, and yeah, it's done. So I'm going to go to bed, and then tomorrow I'm going to try to get this place looking back to its its former glory, and also maybe go see how the river's doing. Uh, that's kind of near us. I'm going to bed. Good night, everybody. Okay, so the desk is all back up with all my computer stuff. Now I'm gonna do outside. Okay, I think we're all good. I put everything back. Also put some laundry on. Sky is amazing today, super blue. Got a bit of wind, but nothing crazy at all. Just a nice breeze. Got the computer back. Got new sheets on the bed. Washing up's done. Man, it's like feeling fresh, feeling good. Hello everybody, it is the evening after the typhoon. Everything's fine, everything's good. Hung out with a friend today and just live my normal life. I've seen a few people complaining, I've had messages from a few people complaining that, um, you know, that was it, that, that this typhoon was it, and you know, they kind of wanted to see more of a typhoon, which uh, is uh, a, kind of an ignorant thing to say because a lot of people had their lives messed up by this typhoon. They just, uh, some of them were in Tokyo, but you know, surrounding prefectures got completely messed up. Chiba has gone through hell because it's had previous typhoon, then tornadoes, then this typhoon, then they also had the earthquake. They've just had constant battering. Um, a, the people have lost their lives. So, you know, if, if some people in Tokyo wish that they saw more action, um, maybe go out to, uh, to Chiba and volunteer and help some people. I'm going to leave a link in the description down below if you want to donate and help out Chiba, because my heart goes out to them because they have struggled so much recently, especially yesterday. So overall, I'm just very, very happy that we made it through unscathed, not even relatively unscathed. We're totally fine. But yeah, I just wanted to thank everybody for their kind messages on Instagram, asking if I'm okay and everything. Totally fine. All worked out well. And yeah, this is just my little typhoon vlog. And even though not much happened on our side of things, it's always good to be prepared. And it taught me a lot of lessons for next time if there is another big typhoon that's coming. And with the way that the weather has been changing over time, I do think that uh, this kind of thing might be more of a... a frequent occurrence in the future.
Anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, hit subscribe if you want to see more videos like this or not like this. But thank you for watching. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Janet.